But Thomas didn't want to listen. He was too cross. He kept thinking about what was on the other side of the mountain. And he wasn't looking where he was going. was hurt. Back at him. Presently, they approached the top of Gordon's Hill. Heavy freight trains halt here to set their brakes. James had had an accident with cars before and should have remembered this. Wait, James, wait, said the driver, but James wouldn't wait. He was too busy thinking what he would say to Toby when they next met. The freight car's chance had come. Hurrah! Hurrah! They laughed, and banging their buffers, they pushed him down the hill. On! On! yelled the cars. I've got to stop! I've got to stop! groaned James. Disaster lay ahead. Something sticky splashed all over James. He had run into two tar wagons and was black from smoke box to cad. He was more dirty than hurt. But the tar wagons and some cars were all to pieces. A freight train was waiting in the siding to let the flying kipper pass, and the driver and fireman were drinking cocoa in the caboose. The kipper is due, said the conductor. Who cares, said the fireman. This is good cocoa. The driver got up. Come on, fireman, back to our engine. They got out just in time. Henry's driver and fireman had jumped clear before the crash. But Henry lay dazed and surprised. Sir Topham Hatt came to see him. The signal was down, sir, said Henry. Cheer up, Henry. It wasn't your fault. Ice and snow caused the accident. I'm sending you to Crewe, a fine place for sick engines. They'll give you a new shape and a larger firebox. You'll feel a different engine, and you won't need special coal anymore. Won't that be nice? Yes, sir, said Henry. Then there was trouble. As Gordon approached the new station, neither the driver or fireman could apply his brakes. Something had jammed. The driver reduced steam, but Gordon was still going too fast. Help me, please! Well, Gordon, said the Fat Controller, I knew you wanted a panoramic view, but this is not the way to achieve it. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, muttered Gordon.
was right. Cars can run an engine right off the rails. Uh, oh. Stay right there, James. I'll go and get help. One day, Henry was pulling a very important goods train on his way to the mainland. Faster! Faster! Hurry up, Henry! We haven't got a day! <laughs> a faulty signal should have warned Henry there was another goods train stuck on the track up ahead. But then, everything happened at once. Wouldn't be going to the mainland now. Oh. The load did hold, but not quite long enough. Ah. <laughs> oh, crumbs. That's torn it. <gasps> it's Rex. Oh, oh, I said it was easy. I said it was easy. Then everything happened at once. Rex! Rex! Watch out! Slow down! <gasps> Stop! Stop! Meanwhile, Daisy, the diesel rail car, was on her way back to her shed. But then there was trouble. Ah! Oh no! Not her! Now. Ned was still dreaming of knocking buildings down and wasn't watching where he was going. Look out! cried his operator. But it was too late. The chimney rocked, the bricks crumbled, the workmen and the foreman took cover. Oliver and Thomas watched in amazement. <laughs> 